Um, to Australia now, where a church leader and several other people have been injured in a knife attack during a religious service in Sydney. A man was seen on a live stream approaching the bishop and stabbing him several times. The incident comes on the day of mourning for six people who were stabbed to death in a rampage in the city over the weekend. Journalist Roger Maynard joins us now from Sydney with the latest. Uh, Roger, what can you tell us about the attack? Well, this is clearly an extremely troubling incident, coming as it does only two days after the death of six customers in a stabbing rampage in a Sydney shopping centre at the weekend. Police are not saying there's a link between the two, but there is clearly speculation that it may have inspired this latest outbreak of violence. What we know is that a man stabbed a bishop who was leading a church service, as well as several members of the congregation who were also uh, reported to have been attacked. The uh, service was being streamed live at the time and showed the assailant running towards Bishop Mari Emmanuel, who was preaching at the Church of the Good Shepherd. The cleric was stabbed several times and other members of the congregation were injured in the melee. The bishop is seen looking up in surprise as the attacker rained down blows on his head before the cleric fell to the floor. When our churchgoers rushed to his aid and separated the man from the priest, uh, the, the bishop was rushed to hospital and is being treated for his wounds, which are not believed to be life-threatening. Mm -hmm. Police say a man has been arrested. Is there any reliable information about the alleged attacker or even a possible motive already? There's a lot of confusion about the latest situation at the moment. Some say he's been arrested, some say he's still holed up in the church. The attack triggered protests outside the church as supporters who had been watching the service on television rushed to the scene. Uh, police who were called were outnumbered as uh, protested through bricks and bottles at them. It's believed that the attacker is still holed up, although that's still uh, not, not confirmed at the moment. Uh, and that has clearly angered people living in the area. The latest news is a, a crowd of vigilantes have been attempting to get to the offender and separate him from the police. It's an extremely volatile and uh, confusing situation, uh, and, and it's still very much uh, uh, unravelling at this stage. Uh, Bishop Emmanuel uh, is a known controversial religious figure here in Sydney. He gained notoriety during the uh, COVID pandemic for uh, criticising the way that uh, the authorities had imposed lockdowns and ordered people to take, uh, you know, have vaccinations. So it's it's a very troubling scene, particularly as it comes so soon after that terrible uh, stabbing frenzy in the uh, in the Bondi Junction shopping centre on Saturday. Exactly. Australia is still very much in mourning after that separate attack. What is being done to improve security? Well, a lot is going to have to be done. I think we're going to see a lot more security personnel in shopping centres from now on. This has cast a, a terribly dark shadow over uh, not only Sydney, but the whole of Australia. Uh, people are genuinely shocked about the, uh, the the savagery that took place at that shopping centre on Saturday, that, that, that it could have happened at all, least of all uh, on a Saturday afternoon when people are going about their normal recreational business. Um, and so, obviously, it's going to change the mood here seriously. People are going to be possibly worried about going to shopping centres in future and the police will certainly take that on board and will take the necessary precautions. NDW reporter Joel Dorroy joins us now from Sydney. Joel, good to see you. What can you tell us about the attack? What do we know at this point? This attack was live streamed during a church service in an Assyrian church in Sydney's west. The live stream video is quite shocking. It shows a man approaching the bishop as he's giving his sermon. He then attempts to stab him with a knife in a very violent manner. The bishop falls to the ground. The man is quickly surrounded by members of the congregation. And, and in, in that chaos, four people were injured and taken to hospital. They have non-life-threatening injuries. And this includes the bishop himself, who miraculously escaped with non-life-threatening injuries. It's, it's really quite amazing when you see the violent way in which he was attacked. Police say a man has been arrested. Is there any reliable information about the alleged attacker and what his motive could have been? Uh, not yet. It's still too early. But this particular bishop was a very well-known figure. Uh, he had a huge following online and he posted lots of videos with polemic titles about the end times, uh, about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. 
uh, and he preached uh, against the Islamic faith. Now, the Assyrian church is a branch of the Christian church. The Assyrian community is quite small here in Australia. It's only around 60,000 people. But this particular bishop was very outspoken and very well known, not just here, but around the world. Uh, so it's not clear what the motive for the attack was, uh, but this particular bishop did speak out on many topics uh, and it's possibly attracted attention because of his very outspoken views. Yeah, prominent figure there targeted. There has been a violent reaction by a crowd outside the church, actually. Uh, what's happening there? Is the situation still ongoing? Well, the man was arrested by police, but in the last few hours, a huge crowd has gathered out the site, out front, in front of the church, uh, attempting uh, sort of vigilantism. They've been chanting at the police, bring him out, an eye for an eye, uh, throwing rocks at the police cars, smashing police car windows. A riot squad has been deployed and police have used tear gas to disperse the crowd. Uh, they're asking people to stay away from the area. So this has turned from uh, a violent stabbing attack to a small riot in Sydney's west. That was DW reporter Joel Dorroy with the latest from Sydney. Thank you so much for your update. Mm -hmm.